Hi there. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for showing up for today's reading. In this video, I would like to give you some updates on how I'm doing and what is going on with the channel. Don't worry, there's nothing wrong. That's not why I invited you here to speak with me. It's just that um, I've noticed that many of you have been enjoying these daily up uploads. Many of you have commented, sent me personal messages saying that it's you find it helpful and it's um, it's something that you appreciate. And I would just like to say thank you for all that support and everything that you have done for me. And I was happy to do this, but today is the last day um, that I'm doing these daily uploads for now. Sometime in the future, when I have more time, we can do this again. Or I might switch to um, um, once or twice a week or uh, every other day. Something like that. But at any rate, um, I'm moving again. Those of you who have been uh, following my channel for a while now, they know that I move semi-frequently and some of my moves are international. And this one coming up is one of those as well. So it's been pretty stressful lately, uh, trying to keep it together, organizing things, making sure that I'm prepared when I go there. I'm, uh, I'm moving on the 4th of April. So after that, I'm not sure when I'm gonna be able to post again. And this is also sort of a message to my patri patrons, um, patrons, <laughs> um, just to say that uh, it might take a while for me to get to your monthly readings this this month. Um, as you know, normally uh, these readings are sent out within the first two weeks of the month. And I prioritize based on, you know, the situation, the urgency of the reading. Um, but next month, I'm not sure how quickly I'm going to be able to get it done. So I would just like to ask uh, all of my supporters to please bear with me. I'm also going to send you a personal message to inform you about how things are gonna go. And I would also like to ask those of you who are just uh, uh, subscribers and not supporters yet, um, I also would like to ask you to, to be patient, please. I'm going to be back to uploading videos more frequently, but I'm moving because of a job. Um, and understandably, I'm going to have less time to uh, invest into my channel. But I hope that these more recent, uh, th these recent frequent uploads are making up for that for the time being. So anyway, that was my rambling update. <laughs> um, I hope you guys are well. The world is going crazy around this and this is why there's a seven of swords showing up <laughs> and this is why it is such a beautiful haven when you can work with the tarot it's a sanctuary where you can find some peace and some meaning 
in a world that is going insane. So we have the Seven of Swords making a, a visit here. So you can see this character is kind of, uh, how should I put this, appropriating those swords. So it's uh, questionable and dubious how he came into possession of those swords and he's getting away. He's fleeing the scene. This card very often is about a lack of accountability. So the biggest uh, part of this insanity is the lack of responsibility that we're seeing in the world. And people are creating messes and are fleeing from the chaos and are not held accountable for their actions and decisions. The Seven of Swords is always always looking for that easy way out, that shortcut, that path of least resistance. So, yeah, this is also a card of manipulation and lying. Would you agree with me if I said that in today's day and age, It is difficult to know who to believe, what to believe, who is trying to mislead you, who is trying to manipulate you, especially politically. And the Seven of Swords is associated with the idea of politics, for example, in the Osho Zen Tarot. So yeah, this is where we are, this is where we're at, in this situation where we're vulnerable to manipulation, the brainwashing of the media, and the trickery of politicians around us, and other people, it's not just the politicians, let's be fair. Let's be fair, um, there are other players in this game who are trying to take advantage of you. So how do we deal with this? How do we deal with a mentally hostile environment? Because, as you might know, if you've been following, your ch following this channel for a while, you know that I always explain the connection between swords and the air element. So, the air element astrologically is connected with the idea of the intellect. So this is an intellectual um, issue. It's an issue of beliefs and perspectives. What you consider to be true what is your paradigm? How do you see the world from that paradigm? So this is uh, violence done passively. So it's not the sort of brute force attack that you would see in fire-based cards, for example. It is very tricky and sly, but nonetheless it's an attack and it happens in that mental space. So how do you navigate this landscape of misinformation and trickery? The King of Swords has fallen out. Well, the King of Swords it's one of those cards that has a difficult character. Most kings do. Kings represent 
the highest level of accomplishment and expertise in the given suit. And, you know, we're still talking about the air element. Because we have seven of swords and the king of swords. So the advice from the cards is to embody that responsible and powerful position that the king of swords represents. To recognize your own role and responsibility as an antidote to the lack of accountability that you find when you look around. Be the change you want to see in the world. It's one of those basic wisdoms that may sound cheesy, but it's true. You need to be the change that you want to see in this world. And it is up to you to be just and fair and to make sure that your opinions and your decisions are based on the facts that you have personally uh, checked for yourself. Obviously, there can still be trickery going on. There can still be misdirection. But to your best knowledge, what is true? And don't just settle for an easy explanation. It's very important to actively go against what feels comfortable intellectually. To actively fight that tendency to want to believe truths that are pleasant. And you know, truth has many, many faces. So sometimes truth has a very pleasant undertone and it's easy to digest those types of truth. And they are true nevertheless, but you cannot be selective. You need to embrace and integrate those grains of truth that cut to the core that are uncomfortable and inconvenient. And the more you do this, the more capable you become of controlling and regulating your own thinking processes, the more resilient you become in the face of manipulation and mischievous acts that certain people are trying to accomplish around you. So, I hope that you enjoy this little chat with the tarot. I hope that you enjoyed these last couple of videos that I've been pumping out <laughs> each and every day. This concludes the daily uploads for now, but don't forget, I might be back, perhaps sooner than you would expect. So stay tuned, stay subscribed, hit the like button if you enjoy my videos, and if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on my website. So I encourage you to read the description where you'll find all the information that you need regarding this. If it's not clear, you can also email me and I'd be happy to assist you. Thank you all for listening. Have a great day great night and see you in another video.